This is what I'm calling Granddad's tube motor. And uh, I'll give a link to Granddad's video where he shows how he's made a motor using a cardboard tube. And uh, I had one, but it was too small, so I used a uh, toilet paper roll tube and cut it up so it had legs and stuff and made this little uh, pulse motor using a tube. And you can punch through that cardboard and uh, coat it with uh, crazy glue and make a bearing using the cardboard and the crazy glue as the bearing. Now he used magnets and I initially did this one with magnets but I found out if you use the crazy glue idea uh, you can make a pretty good bearing just with the cardboard and the crazy glue. It makes like a plastic impregnated uh, cardboard plastic which makes a good bearing. And on the bottom you punch through the cardboard you put aluminum uh, tape on the bottom and that makes a metal bearing on the bottom at the bottom of the needle and this is a solar uh, waiver driver and you can use um, these drivers like this on it of course and uh, get it to go real fast if you want it to make it go real fast the, I thought it was kind of cool that it ran on a solar driver and it's just a bottle cap um, type of a uh, lid type of motor but uh, if you have a solar uh, waiver, the uh, driver unit in the solar waiver works. But anyway, that uh, that idea, Granddad, of using a cardboard tube for the structure worked really good. I was real surprised that uh, that's something I'd never tried before. I'd never tried using a, a cardboard tube for the structure for the rotor, and it works quite nicely. Thanks for watching.